welcome to Stampin' by Hannah. Thank you for joining me today. Thank you for joining me on a Thursday. Now, I know I don't usually post a video on a Thursday, but I do have a blog event every on the last Thursday of every month um, that features this fabulous album. And I wanted to share it with you because I've been doing it now for three months and I thought a three-month roundup was nice. So this is my 2018 One Little Word album which I haven't put the label on yet. Really should do that. Um, this is, One Little Word is a um, year-long class project from the fabulous Ali Edwards scrapbook queen extraordinaire. Um, and I love it. I really, I've, I've really been enjoying it. I've been, look, I've been following it for a couple of years, um, but this is the first time I've actually got crafty and got kind of into it properly. I bought the class. Um, with birthday money thank you to my mother-in-law um back in january and every month she gives you a kind of a prompt um around the word that you've chosen so my word for 2018 is grow um there's a lot of personal reasons for that you will see some of them in this album this is going to be a very personal video um because of what what's kind of in here um and what's going on in my life so if you're not interested in me then I'll see you tomorrow. Um, otherwise, shall we have a flick through? So, like I said, my word, my one little word for 2018 is grow. And every month, Ali provides us with a fabulous set of videos and prompts and all sorts of things around the word. So I've got three months here because we've been doing this. We've done January, February and March. If you want to see one of these videos on a monthly basis, because I can do that, that's not a problem. Just let me know. Um, otherwise, I'll kind of stick with quarterly roundups. So the first month, January, was about picking your word um, and defining it and working out kind of what that word means to you and exploring that. So there's quite a few pages for January. And there's, I've got to say, journaling is not my thing. Journaling, I love scrapbooking, really love scrapbooking. And I don't do it very often because I don't take enough photos because my life is boring. <laughs> but journaling is always the difficult bit for me. It's always like getting the words out onto paper. So, this has been really handy and I've, I can see the progression that I've made from, from kind of January where I've not written very much um, to now where I'm quite happy to write a bit more about what I've done in the month. So I've kind of explored the word grow and I have two intentions for the year and I'm sure that some people have loads of intentions for their word but one is a daily gratitude practice. Because my grow word is about me growing as a person, it's about me becoming a better version of me. I like me, don't get me wrong, but I've had some issues over the past 12 months with anxiety and things, and it's kind of helped me explore that. And doing a daily gratitude helps me to process what I've had done in the day and helps me feel better about myself. So, I've already failed on that because I didn't do it at all in February. <laughs> and it's half of January, I did nothing in February and I've picked it up again in March. Um, and I've I've got a I've just bought myself a bullet journal in the hope that I might get better at doing that because I've got a few things now that I'm kind of trying to track and keep up with. So daily gratitude is one of those things. So that's something. And they just say yes. I'm not saying no to anything anymore. I'm not. I'm just going to dive in to everything with both feet and just say yes. None of this holding back. None of this oh what if thing. No what ifs. None. Just say yes if I can because there is a caveat with that in that sometimes you can't say yes I can't say yes they're going on holiday tomorrow with my best friend as much as I would love to I can't because I've got work commitments but kind of the, the premise of just say yes so that was January and there's a picture of me and my lovely husband James um for that was taken by my mother-in-law on my birthday we went out for afternoon tea for my birthday and so that picture because I love that picture has gone in my in my album. February was a difficult one for me because February Ali picked a um, mood board prompt and I'm not good with that so what I have done <laughs> is I pulled out the um, I've used Stampin' Up! products the entire way through this album. The January was some of them some of the cards have got Ali's kind of cards on because they're, it makes sense in the album. But I've it's a Stampin' Up! album with Stampin' Up! 
inserts with stamp up memories and mark cards in and so for february i thought i would use the the celebration freebie the cake sweet soiree um memories and mark cards now if you're watching this as this video goes live they retire on saturday so if you want these they're beautiful cards they really are um for this this kind of month and i only use them for this month um do get hold your hands on because they are super pretty but what i have done instead of kind of she wants ali invites you to reach into magazines and cut out pictures that that sum up grow you know your word and make a mood board and, and actually she makes fabulous canvases and things like that and I, that's all too much for me but what i did do was pull out quotes that i really liked um and things that make me happy and i've put them in here and this is one of those things this one is double page posts that I'm kind of going back to um, because this is me for February 2018 and that's great but there's mm. kind of still there's still space on it there's still time to sort of places to play around so this morning as I was prepping this video I've put Frida in here um, because Frida actually joined me for a crafting session my lovely pussycat she does not usually come into my craft room she does not like to be in here with me normally um, but this one day I was trying to craft and she was up on my desk and she was meowing and she was just the cute cat that I know that she can be, that she's not really cute to me. She loves my husband, she doesn't love me very much, but hey, I'm not bitter. <laughs> so Frida got a, a place in there too. And then March, March was the kind of practice, yeah, I think, I think Ali called it practice month. So she Ali invited us to pick something that we want to do want, want to practice every day in March and because March has been my get ready to slim month basically um I my husband finished his university degree this month I'm so excited he's finally got a proper job I'm so excited um and kind of things have been changing for us this month so kind of been getting part of this year actually so March was that month to kind of consolidate everything for me and start on getting fit, getting slim. Yeah, we've put a lot of weight on in the past few years, me and my husband, and we need to get rid of it. So as part of that, I got a Fitbit for my birthday in January and I've been wearing it every day all year. And one of the things I wanted to do in March was make sure that I'm really conscious about getting my steps in. So my goal is for 9,000 steps a day. And I do this, I don't do, I don't manage to get there every day. <laughs> I do get there consistently when I'm on a work day, when I'm on a shift at work, um, because I'm, I run from eight in the morning till eight at night and I don't stop. So those days are really easy. Getting my days off to get that, those steps in is more tricky. And that's what I've put in my reflection. The other thing that I've started this month is Slimming World, and that was only started on Monday. So we are, I'm filming this Wednesday, so we're day three today. I don't know why I'm not thin yet, I want to know, but hey. So, this double page spread kind of focuses on that that panel, that, that one piece um, that is a printable from Ali Edwards. Um, and then I've got a bit of reflection. I've printed out my 28 days of steps from the Fitbit website, because all my... Um, steps attract on my Fitbit that I wear like I said all the time I've got a title card of practice now this is one of the memories and more cards from I wish I could remember what it was called but I can't I keep all my memories and more cards on my desk actually I'll show you this I keep meaning to blog this this I made this cute little holder for all of my um cards and my pens and a pencil and it sits on my desk all the time so when I feel like doing a little bit of one little word practice I can do that I do it's right there so this is one of the memories of more cards and I will link which pack I've got down below because I can't remember what it's called um, and then I pulled out these letters from my stash now these letters were originally red and all I've done is taken a sharpie marker to, to colour them black just to keep them kind of in keeping with the colour scheme of my album I've got a quote card from Ali Edwards and I've backed it onto one, another one of the Memories of More cards and that is it. That is my One Little Word album so far for 2018. As you can see I've got plenty of space left and plenty of year left to um, for the next three months. So if you want to see one of these every month do let me know and I can do a quick video um, once a month or it'll be a longer 
probably 10 or 15 minute video um, once a quarter. Thank you ever so much for joining me. As always, anything you've seen in my videos, you can purchase in my online store. Link is in the down bar below. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. I would love to hear what if you're doing one little word um, as well and what you think of it. Um, and I will see you again next time. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.